In this Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate this makeup look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then click subscribe below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. For this look, you will need two eyeshadows. One matte midtone, which is at least one shade darker than your skin tone. One metallic bronze, either a golden bronze, silver, or in my case, a purple bronze. And you'll also need a black pencil liner and a nude pencil, but this is optional. We're only using one brush, so we're using a blending brush. Then mascara, lashes and lash glue, and concealer. So I'm using the concealer as a base, which I've already applied on the lids, and this will create a blank canvas for us to work on. So the first step is to take the blending brush and the matte eyeshadow. You can also use your matte bronzer if you prefer. And we're going to apply this into the crease of the eye. So the crease of the eye is where the eye creases into the eye shape. So we're going to be sweeping the shadow into the crease, blending over and back. We always want to start on the outer edge. Where you place your brush down first, we'll deposit the highest amount of pigment. So we always start on the outer edge and blend in. So sweep from the crease towards the nose and back again. We also want to blend this down onto the lid. And as we sweep down onto the lid, we then want to sweep back up over the crease and up towards the brows. Remembering to leave a small gap under the brows to keep that contrast. So you should end up with something that looks like this. The shadow is predominantly in the crease of the eye, blending down and blending up as if to disperse and blur out the crease shade. This technique is great for hooded eyes as it contours the lid, but also works on most eye shapes. It creates depth, shape, and shadow. The next step is to take your black liner and apply this on the upper waterline. So look down in a mirror and let the pencil run up along the upper lash line. If you can't do this, try pushing the liner between the lashes on the lid instead. I'm going to leave that to settle as it will drop down on the lower lash line, but we'll deal with that later. Now taking the bronze shade, you're going to apply this with your fingertips. So I'm using my pinky and running this along the lash line. Try closing your eyes and feeling for the curve of the lid. It sounds odd, but I think knowing how to apply your makeup without a mirror and feeling for the shape actually improves your overall skills. You want to slowly build this up, and the best piece of advice is to make sure that the majority of the color is on the outer edge, and then sweeping and blending and fading in to that inner corner. And this will complement most eye shapes. Then take your blending brush again and softly sweep out any harsh lines. No need to pick up any extra product, just softly sweep. And then do the same thing on the lower lash line. Smudging that bronzy tone under the eyes and making sure the outer edge has the majority of the color and blending in. You'll probably notice that all the smudging has caused the black pencil to drop down a little on the lower lash line. That's actually a good thing. We can use this as we're smudging to create a smokier effect. Then I clean my lower lash line of any black and apply a nude liner, but this is optional, though it does open up the eyes a little more. Apply mascara, lashes, and there you go. That is the finished look. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and I hope that you will try this out and send me it on Instagram if you do. I might go live on Instagram this week, so check out for that. It's at Sinead Katie. If you want to keep watching my beginner's makeup looks, you can click the screen now. Stay safe, be kind to yourself, you're doing the best you can, and I look forward to welcoming you back soon. Bye for now.